Sir, in the last videos we covered what is the typecasting, what are rules, internal things, right? Now the possible practice questions for the exam, just observe. Sir, just uh, here I am taking, here I am taking, parent class is there, sir. Parent class contain M1 method. Assume parent class contain M1 method. Child class contain, child class contain M2 method. Observe, parent class contain which method? M1 method. Child class contain M2 method, right? Now, sir, here my target is child C is equal to new child. I am creating which object? Child class object. Child type reference variable, right? Now, which things are valid? Which things, which of the following method calls are valid? You have to tell. C dot M1, C dot M2, C dot M1, C dot M2. This C, we are trying to typecast to the parent. Child is always trying to typecast to the parent. Now, dot M1, this C, we are trying to typecast to the parent, dot M2. That's all. Can you please tell which are valid, which are invalid? These method calls according to this scenario, right? Can you please guide? Can you please confirm which are valid and which are invalid, right? Okay? Sir, take a bit very special care about this terminology. Sir, child reference, child object. On the child, child reference, the method which is available in the parent class, happily you can call. On the child reference, both the parent and child class methods we can call. That's why it is acceptable, it is also acceptable, right? Okay, well. Next, uh, sir, this is C, we are trying to typecast to the P type. Whenever we are typecast into the P type, now the type will become parent type, but internal object is the child type only. Now parent type. On the parent type, the method available in the parent class, happily you can call, no problem at all. Are you getting? On the parent reference, happily the method present inside parent class, you can call, no problem, right? Next, uh, this C is what type? Of course, C typecast into P. Now it is the parent type. On the parent type, child specific method, you can't call immediately, compile a method we are going to get. I will remember in the inheritance somewhere I covered. Parent reference can be used to hold child class object. Internally, whenever you are trying to typecast to the P type, now the type of reference will become parent type. Sir, on the parent type, how you can call child specific method, even though internal object is the child type, okay, like uh, immediately error we are going to get. Sir, do you know, for this, internally what thing is happening is, parent P is equal to new child. So, can you please typecast it to C into parent type means, so for the child object, we are providing parent reference. On that reference, we are calling P. Okay, child specific method, immediately compatible method we are going to get. Remember this one. So, maybe a chance to ask this type of questions, right? Sir, consider this scenario. Sir, which of the following method calls are valid? We should be in a position to answer. Let me execute this code. Have a look once. Sir, I have parent class, parent class, parent class contain M1 method, M1 method. Next, uh, child class, child class contain M2 method, right? Now, C, C is equal to new child. C dot M1, C dot M2, like this, right? Sir, all the four things I took, but which method calls are invalid? Only last one is invalid. But the reason you know already, observe the compact time error, observe the compact time error, cannot find symbol M2 for class P. Sir, it is the P type. On the P type, M2 method is not there. Because M2 method is the child specific method, which is not visible to the parent, like that. Sir, if I comment this line, if I comment this line, for effectly, itself is valid, no problem. Now the corresponding output we are going to get, sir. Don't worry about this one. Clear? Are you in the position to understand? This is the first possible question um, for, the, for the exam sake practice. Yeah? You, were, you should have clear clarity, right? Okay? Sir, just the aware, the next practice question, here see. A class contain M1 method, which can take 
system dot out dot print ln of a oh a class contain m1 method which print sop statement to print a b is the child class of a b is the child of a b also contain m1 b also contain m1 method oh parent and child class contain same method same signature which concept overriding overriding now it is going to print b sop of b sir c is the child of b it is going to print a c are you getting c is the child of b it will print what c sir now my question is have you observed right it is the overriding same method m1 available in the a class available in the b class available in the c class right now the question is something like this sir c c is equal to new c we are creating c c is equal to new c c dot m1 c dot m1 c i am trying to typecast to b type c i am trying to typecast to b type b type b type so if i am trying to typecast to the b type this is c i am trying to typecast to the b type dot m1 m1 next this is c trying to typecast to the b type this total trying to typecast to two, a type dot m1 like this right yes friends can you please tell what is the output in the first case what is the output in the second case what is the output in the third case first case first what is this concept is it overriding or not overriding in overriding method resolution is always takes care by compiler based on reference type ayyo ah don't get confused in overriding method resolution is always takes care by jvm based on runtime object if it is the overloading compiler but it is overriding jvm based on runtime object sir now here runtime object is the c even you are performing type casting but runtime object is always c type only even we are trying to type cast to a type but runtime object is always c only even for all these cases runtime object is always a c that's why c class method only will get the chance based on runtime object are you getting in overriding method resolution is always takes care by jvm based on runtime object whether you are calling c dot m1 trying to type cast c to the b dot m1 or trying to type cast c to the a and then call m1 in all cases only c class method will get the chance because in overriding method resolution is always a takes care by jvm based on runtime object clear right let me execute this code sir observe carefully observe a bit very carefully here class a public void m1 a system dot out dot print ln of a class b extends a public void m1 sop of b class c extends b public void m1 sop of c sir so every class contain m1 method and b is the child of a c is the child of b and everything is going to print the corresponding class name now c c is equal to new c c dot m1 trying to c trying to type cast to the b and then call m1 c i am trying to type cast to b b i am trying to type cast to a and then call m1 like this right now have a look once happily the code compiles fine what is the output by default we are going to get c c c is the answer c c c itself is the answer because in all cases which method got executed sir sir child class method only based on runtime object clear next one more small point because you you should aware in type casting no new object object is always same but we are trying to provide just a reference variable reference variable type will be changed but not internal object okay well sir now what i want to do i want to make a small change what is my change is let me declare all these methods are yeah, static sir let me take all these methods are static parent class child class methods both are having same signature same name same argument but both are static what is this concept respond man what is this concept somewhere we covered oh table also i showed right method of hiding what is this concept method of hiding in method of hiding method of resolution always takes care by 
compiler based on reference type remember if it is the overriding method resolution is always based on runtime object but it is the method hiding static compiler is responsible to perform method resolution okay based on reference type okay in the first case which reference c reference c class method c we are trying to typecast to the b now reference type is b that's why b is the answer next uh, we are trying to typecast c to the b b to the a final type is a but internal object is the c but reference type is a that's why a is the answer so what is the output we are going to get sir c b a itself is the answer clear for you people right okay just let me cross check observe carefully here here same but only thing is let me declare static for every method same example same example let me take static let me take uh, static for every method for every method okay now method calls are always the same same as the previous example only right sir earlier we got ccc but suddenly output by default will be changed sir cba is the answer we have to get cba is the answer we have to get because it is the method hiding in method hiding method resolution is always a takes care by compiler based on reference type any doubt are you in the position to understand clearly okay so just one more possible bit related to object type casting here see this one here i'm taking a b and then c how many classes are there three c is the child of b b is the child of a now here i'm taking int x is equal to 377 Int x is equal to three point seven. B int x is equal to three point eight. Int x is equal to three point eight. C contain int x is equal to three point nine. Oh, every class contain a variable with the same name but different values, right? Now, sir, C C is equal to new C new C system dot out dot println C dot x. C dot X. System dot out dot print ln C. We are trying to typecast to the B dot X. Sir C. We are trying to typecast to the B dot X. System dot out dot print ln C. We are trying to typecast to the B. Under this one, we are trying to typecast to the A dot X. So now, can you please tell what is the output we are going to get now? Yeah, huh? please confirm. What is the answer we are going to get, sir? Please make sure you should aware. In the last videos, I covered very clearly. Variable resolution is always based on reference type, but not based on runtime object. Overriding concept not applicable for variables, sir. Variable resolution always takes care by compiler. based on reference type but not based on runtime object sir it never going to worry about runtime object sir c c is what type of reference c type that's why 399 is the answer okay well now c we are trying to type cast to the b type b type so what is the answer b b variable 388 next c trying to type cast to the b b trying to type cast to the a Sir, what is this x? Is a triple seven because a class variable, right? So in in sir, over uh, what we call variable resolution always takes care by compiler based on reference type, but not based on runtime object because overriding concept is not applicable for variables. Remember that. Let me show this example here. Same example I am taking. Sir, class a int x class b extends a. Class C extends B. Class test the C is equal to like this, right? Now let me execute this code, sir. If I can take this, if I can take happily the code compiles fine. What the answer, sir? Triple nine, triple eight, triple seven. Triple nine, triple eight, triple seven. Like this, right? So type casting a bit very important terminology. You people should be very clear. Like up to this clear, right? 